These are my oatmeal whoopie pies. Technically, they're not a whoopie pie. They're really two oatmeal cookies with whoopie pie filling in the middle, but I call them my whoopie pies. So in my bowl, I've got two cups of flour, and I'm going to add to that half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Just mix that up. Set that aside for a minute. In my mixer bowl, I have two cups of light brown sugar. And I'm going to add to that three quarters of a cup, one and a half sticks of very soft butter. And get that creamy. And I'm going to add to that, as soon as it's creamed, two eggs. I have two cups of quick cooking oats. Not the uh, old-fashioned oats, you want the quick cooking. And in this little dish here, I have two teaspoons of baking soda and three tablespoons of hot water. I'm going to add that to it also. Get the eggs in. Blend those up well. Get our flour mixture back here. Cinnamon and the salt and the okay. that up while I add mix that up. It tends to want to separate. And we'll get all of that in. It's a very, very easy recipe, but these are so so good. Rest of the flour. Get that mixed up well. And now, all the oats. Two cups cooking oats. Here I have my sheets lined with parchment paper. My oven is on. It's on 325 degrees. And these are going to bake for approximately 15 to 17 minutes. Okay. How easy was that? Let's get this off. Another thing about these is these freeze beautifully. So if you make these, the cookie part of this, you can then freeze these um, you know, in a zip freezer bag for quite a long time. And then you could just make the filling when you're ready to make them. So if you're having a party in a couple of weeks, do this now and save yourself some time. Again, because they'll spread out, we want to put just six on a sheet. I'm using a scooper. If you don't have one of these, you can use, a, you know, a large spoon. You can make these bigger. You can make them smaller. Just adjust your cooking time baking time, excuse me, accordingly. And if you don't want to fill them, you can just eat them like that because they're really good. But really, with the cream in the middle of these, unbelievable. So, into the oven for about 14 to 16 minutes. Here are our oatmeal whoopie pies hot out of the oven. We've got to let them cool down completely and then we'll make the filling, fill them, and eat them. Time to fill our whoopie pies. 
I have some filling left over from a previous whoopie pie recipe, and I'm going to use that in these whoopie pies today. And now we're going to make our filling. So in here, I have two 16 ounce containers of marshmallow cream, a good quality. I didn't want you to see me scraping it out, so I just put it in there. To that, we're going to add one pound of butter. This is a double recipe uh, because uh, I have a lot of whoopie pies to fill. What I didn't mention to you before is when you make these and you saw how many scoops I put on, I still had a lot of mixture left. So what I did is I just made individual small ones that I'll put in my freezer and use some other time. So here we go with this. I'm going to just mix this part up, get it well creamed. Come on, baby. There we go. Normally, if you, if you want, it's probably easier to do this in two separate batches. I'm just trying to save a little time today. some confectioner sugar. Now, just like cocoa, this stuff is really powdered and it has a tendency to go everywhere. And I always do that. Always make a mess. So three cups. Again, you can half this recipe for smaller items, just small pies. I'm going to use this and hope that it works, that I don't get too covered in confectioner sugar. Okay. Start off slow and pulses. I just know as soon as I let it go it's gonna not too bad. hands which are getting sticky and look at that cream it's beautiful so let's fill our whoopie pies just take one off the tray loosen one up here's our wonderful filling with a decorative tip you can do that you don't have to you can just use a knife and fill them up and just fill your whoopies these I'm telling you, these are so, so, so good. Put a little top on, give them a little squish, and you're all set. Another one. These make really nice miniature um, whoopie pies. They're really good for a party, birthday party, whatever. So I'm just going to continue filling up my whoopie pies. I hope you try these. These are delicious. <laughs>